Newsroom with details. Jeff. Well, ladies, Congress may be on holiday break, but some lawmakers from Southern California are not backing away from a battle over the border and the treatment of migrant detainees. Tonight, an inside look at the Migrant Detention Center in El Paso, Texas, where women can be seen crammed into a cell in sleeping bags on a concrete floor. This video was posted on Congressman Joaquin Castro's Twitter account after he snuck in his cell phone during a visit with Democratic lawmakers to the facility. Congresswoman Judy Chu, who represents the San Gabriel Valley, was among them. I will never forget the image of being in a cell and seeing 15 women, tears coming down their faces as they talked about being separated from their children. New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez posted this picture of a small packet of shampoo that the detainees are given as the only form of hygiene. She says some of the detainees told her they hadn't showered in weeks. Some suffered hair loss. The freshman lawmaker is accusing Border Patrol officers of what she calls systematic cruelty. These women were being told by CBP officers to drink out of the toilet. They were drinking water out of the toilet. And that was them knowing what a congressional visit was coming. What we saw was appalling and disgusting. Uh, we talked to a group of women. Uh, detainees who said that they didn't have running water, that uh, uh, one was an epileptic and she couldn't get her medication. But hundreds of miles away in McAllen, Texas, Republican Senator Ted Cruz is painting a very different picture after visiting another facility. You ought to have people in humane detention and you ought to expedite asylum proceedings so that you can have legal proceedings and those people who do not meet the legal standards for asylum should be returned to their homes as quickly as possible. The controversy comes on the same day President Trump signed a $4.6 billion aid package for the border. Mr. Trump defended CBP when he was asked about what Democratic lawmakers witnessed. I know that the Border Patrol is not happy with the Democrats in Congress. I will say the Republicans do want border security. Congresswoman Nanette Berrigan of San Pedro says she confronted Border Patrol officers about the treatment of the detainees. When I asked the question, what are you going to spend that money on? I got a blank, a blank stare because they're saying you came at the wrong time. Nobody is here. The influx has really come down and it's low. Castro also shared video of a bathroom at the facility where Berrigan says only one of three showers was working. And we did not see very many people and we did not have an opportunity. They were preventing us from talking to people and put a lot of restrictions. So President Trump suggested that he will move forward with immigration raids after the 4th of July holiday. And you may remember that plan had been delayed for two weeks. We are live in the newsroom. Wow. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.